that we understand who our buyers are, who is buying from Amazon across the board, we need to figure out what they want, right? What products do they want? Um, the short answer is absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. Whether it's available on Amazon or not, you know, that's the question. They have millions and millions of products available. Um, but what is it that consumers are looking for the most? Well, the top revenue categories on Amazon are home and kitchen, electronics, and get this, automotive has, has grown like 112%, I think they said, over the past couple of years. Why? Because think about it. Not every auto store can carry every single part out there for every single car ever made. So many cars are up and coming and pro uh, even specific auto parts, they're not interchangeable um, as much as people want them to be. There's certain makes, models, everything else grown tremendously. Why? It's mostly because of that trust factor and the speed. People can literally get their products delivered their products delivered within a couple of days, sometimes even a couple of hours. So that's another reason why these categories are tremendously growing on Amazon. Apparel and accessories is almost the top category at this point. It's growing, growing, growing. Why? Because people love, I mean, this goes back to like mail order, like 70s, 80s, catalogs, stuff like that. Like tons and tons of people have been ordering like that for many, many years uh, on catalog, uh, through catalogs, online, well, they say online, <laughs> offline, but through catalogs. I mean, anybody grow up with like the big, huge Sears catalog, even yourself or your grandparents or something like that had the big fat Sears catalog and you could just look through pages and pages. I remember when I was a kid, uh, my grandma, always got the big huge like Sears or JC Penny catalogs things like that and I would sit there for hours and look through these catalogs yes I was dorky like that I loved magazines I loved things like that and I never really saw that kind of stuff before um you know when I was younger we'd have to go to stores shop around look for things like that there wasn't the internet browsing right so um catalogs were like fun for me to be able to look through and they had kids sections and adult and I'm like oh I would love to have this and, and love to have that it was like my little wish book and so ordering things uh, off catalogs or things like that is not, um, you know, that sort of thing is a little bit more lost on us than it is now because we all have online, right? We have websites, we have internet, we have Amazon. So who needs the Sears catalog? But um, clothing, shoes, accessories, this is a really big growing category, friends. And we want to be paying attention to that sports and outdoors. Now, this these are the top revenue categories, according to Statista. Uh, I love Statista for these like numbers and things like that. You can pretty much ask them any statistic and they kind of have it. I mean, eventually you have to like subscribe. But um, if you want to look a couple of things up for free. It's a statista is a great way to look up different data and stats and things like that. So these top revenue categories, what do our Amazon customers want? Well, they want speed and convenience and variety of product product selection. And the categories in which they love are home and kitchen, electronics, automotive, apparel and accessories, sports and outdoors. Those are the top. Of course, there's plenty of there's 27 different categories, I think on Amazon to sell. So how do we capitalize? I hear you like, okay, thanks for the data. Thanks for the research. This is so awesome. But so what? How do we make money off of this? How do we profit from this? Bottom line is this. Amazon provides the speed and they provide the convenience of purchase and the convenient and the trust of, of returns and reviews and things like that. So what can you do? You bring the variety. You bring new products to the table, specifically bundles. To Amazon. Now, briefly, I'm going to explain a bundle in case you guys haven't heard any other of the 200 plus episodes I've been doing for many years. A bundle is simply a combination of products that customers tend to buy together already, conveniently packed in the same bundle kit or set. So think about the shampoo and conditioner. You know, we tend to buy the same brands of that. Putting a shampoo and conditioner together would be a bundle or um, putting together like an accessory kit for say an iPhone or an iPad. Maybe there's a case and a charger and a stand and um, headphones or screen protectors, things like that. Things that go together that people might buy separately, but are much more conveniently to buy together or say a gift set or a gift kit or 
um, you know, things like that. Or you're buying even uh, grocery items, a variety pack of granola bars. That's one of my first bundles I ever created. So a bundle brings um, speed and convenience to the customer by by basically pre-packaging things they already buy together, things that they buy together to make it uh, easy and convenient one-click purchase. So instead of having your customer shop around for these different items, you're doing the research and the shopping for them up front, putting together product bundles that make it convenient and easy for them to buy in one click. So that already meets the standard. You're bringing the convenient, the